Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you how to install one of these Chinese rear seats on um, early model club car DSs. I'm struggling currently, so I figured I'd document this as I figure it out and share with you all. This first part, we put this footrest on and we used the C3 bolts to put these two um, pillars on here. And it just goes bolt washer and on the other side then it goes washer lock washer nut and i just have these hand tightened right now and everything after i get everything put on i'm gonna go through and uh, tighten everything down but that is step number one getting it like that next up you're gonna put this lower seat pan on here and you can tell it's the lower one because it extends like this that's what it looks like and i just have these holes lined up here but what was I was trying to figure out for a while is where to put these Z brackets, and I figured it out. You put them under this hole so that this lines up there. So it's going to end up going like that and mounting like that. And we're using the C2 bolts to mount those. So I'm going to mount these two Z brackets up real quick. Okay, I installed bolts there, there there and there using the c2 bolts and i have the z brackets on the back and i think i'm uh, right so far next you mount these seat brackets um, you sandwich the z mount in between the body and these brackets and you use c5 the c5 nuts and bolts there okay i got these rear seat brackets installed they were a little tricky, but I just kind of brute forced them. I was a couple washers short, but um, that's okay. And I used the C5 hardware to do all that. Next up, I'm installing this seat cushion on this, and they didn't provide hardware, so I'm just using these little half-inch decking screws that I uh, have. Ideally, I'd use something stainless steel but uh just to match everything but for the time being i'm just gonna use these all right here's the back side you can see where these screwed in there's six little holes on there that i attach the seat to and uh, i think i'm using this next up on the cart there and this is how it sits on the cart it has this tab sticking up in the back like that Okay, next up, grab these arm bars and the C1 hardware, and you run it with the bolt going this way, so the, the uh, end of the bolt's here, and then you put the nut on this side. That way the seat fits in properly, and then on the bottom, you use this little triangle bracket, and you use the longer bolt that's included with the C1 hardware to run it through here. And I had to force this arm and bend it a little bit to get the holes to line up. But they did eventually line up and uh, you do this on both sides. So I'm going to put the arm in the other side after this. So these arm bars, you're going to have to install three bolts on them. And this one wasn't lining up, so I had to drill a new hole there. Okay, next up, install this roof bracket. Now, with these up here, uh, I had to drill a hole through this because the hole in the support here um, wasn't in the right place. And then this one just kind of goes through. There's nothing there. And the way they have these, the original brackets that fit up in the roof do not fit over this while it's up in there so yeah you're gonna have to drill a hole through this support to get this bolt through and then i just use the original um hardware from the original supports on this roof i don't know if other years if it would work or not but for my year which is a 1996 i did have to modify it also wanted to mention with these roof supports, we are using the C4 hardware. Okay, so I went to mount this back seat rest on here and the bracket right here has this 
welding on nut and when I went to put the bolt in there it popped off um, and I'm not sure what this bolt works great and this was in the C9 hardware packet um, but the bolts up top from the C9 do not work they're too long and I couldn't find any hardware packs that had shorter bolts for those top holes so I just used some screws that I found in the C7 packet which I think were actually for the bottom seat cushion but I just found them in C7 and uh I put those in the top but they're not I can't tighten them because it's just going into plastic so I think I might I'll figure something better out but for the time being I just have those screws in there and in order to get at them I had to drill a hole um, to get my screwdriver through there so that's kind of my temporary fix for that Next, I installed the seat here, and to do that, I used these little plastic washers, and then I used this bolt and the hardware from the C6 baggie. Uh, the, the instructions don't mention where you're actually supposed to get this, but I seem to have a ton of hardware left over, so that's where I grabbed this from. I did have to sand both of these plastic washers off or down, I should say, to get them to fit in here. And it's a really tight fit as is. So I recommend sanding those if you have problems getting them in. Um, but I think we're getting there. Okay, this one took me a while to figure out. This is, I think, how the back seat bracket goes on. I use these bolts from C7, bolts and washers and nuts. They stick out a little bit, but it's fine. And this way, I think when you put these back seats on here, I think it will line up properly. You just have to make sure that you leave this bottom hole down here. I don't know what that's for. And then, um, yeah, just make sure it kind of looks like this. And I think you'll be good. Okay, I mounted these back seat cushions on here. I just ended up using a couple bolts rather than the original screws um the original screws just weren't long enough and it was a little easier to reach back there with a wrench so that's why i did that okay so i ended up installing that grab bar there and it was pretty easy my wife did have to help me because she we opened this up and rested it on this bar and then i lined up the bolts down here and they ended up sitting pretty far back on those adjustable brackets so that's how that ended up and then i put one of these foam pads here so when it opens it's resting on that bar but it ended up looking decent up here you can tell it's sticking further out than over here because i drilled the hole wrong but um yeah it's it's okay i think it looks pretty good Thanks everyone for checking it out and I hope this helps.